I'm Jim Vanderscaff and welcome to my shop. This is Down East Wood Art. Uh, this is a special video I put together in honor of Bob Manfred and his family. Uh, Bob has gone through several uh, needs to go into a hospital for long stays and operations. At this time, thankfully, he's home with his lovely wife, Dee, and uh, his daughter, Jody, and other family members have been very active in support for their father. Uh, Bob has indicated an interest in my woodworking, and I thought I'd honor him by putting this video together. Uh, it's a creation of a bowl from a flat piece of wood, and I've aimed it, aimed, named it in honor of our combined Dutch heritage. Uh, the bowl is named Skowl, which does not mean scowling, but is translated into Dutch as the bowl, and it's spelled S-C-H-A-A-L. Thanks. We'll get to it. So here's the piece of wood that we're going to make the bowl out of. This is a flat board, like I've indicated. And what I've done is joined three different kinds of wood together. This happens to be cherry, then there's uh, bird's eye maple on both sides, and then walnut on the outside. What I've done is marked the center. You can probably just see that. And then I've made uh, circular uh, rings uh, indicating the areas, the areas that we're going to be cutting. Uh, in the back of the board is a little 3 8 inch hole. And I'll show you the use of a jig that we intend to uh, use on the bandsaw. That's this device. Uh, it's uh, just a flat piece of 3 quarter inch uh, plywood. It's got a strip, um, a miter gauge strip on the back, and then it's got a series of holes, uh, patterns of holes that I put. Uh, and then what we do is we combine these two things together and we cut the circular uh, patterns in the, on the bowl and then we put them together. All right, the first step is to cut the outer edge all the way around. When the uh, table saw is flat, the rest of them we're going to cut when the table saw is at a 45 degree angle. So now we've got the, uh, all the rings cut. As you can see, they're all loose in here. So now comes the magic. And uh, after you take the rings apart, just turn them upside down and then uh, start to stack them. And we will glue these uh, where we cut, made the cuts. You can see in here we've made a cut. We've got to glue that. 
But basically, the way the thing goes together is they just stack on top of one another, as shown here, and we just line them up like this, and the next one like this, and the last one like this. And then you can see that the bowl has all these patterns on it. It's really quite lovely. And we will, uh, of course, turn it. We'll glue it together. We'll turn it on the lathe. We'll smooth it all out. And that'll be the next step. Now we go through the process of uh, gluing this up. And you can see I started with the bottom piece already and I got glue on the next piece. So I'll just go move them up. And we have to be very careful about lining them up. There we go. It takes a little effort, but you can get it. And we just put glue in the next layer. This glue will all, all be uh, cut out, it'll be, not all the glue cut out, but the residue on the outside will all be trimmed when we do the uh, lathe work, because then we'll smooth the surface and eliminate all the excess glue. Alright, so now we're going to clamp it up, and um, that will do with a series of clamps and so that we can press the glue down together. put another set of clamps on and then we'll let that set for a while and uh, when we take it out then we'll start the turning process. So I've chucked the bowl, uh, the rough uh, glued up bowl in my lathe and I've been turning it for a while. I'll show you how I do that in just a minute. But uh, basically I've smoothed off this portion of the bowl and it's nice. Uh, I've sanded it down. I've used a um, different chisels to work with it. Um, so I'll work on the inside and I'll film that. To turn the inside of the bowl and the outside as well, I'm using a round nose scraper and that's because the grain is not running, uh, you know, this way and this way like a spindle would. This grain runs this way, and then it, 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 I'm working with end grain, I'm working with side grain as it spins around, so I'm just using a scraper. So we'll start it up. making so much noise and jumping around is because it's an uneven surface. It'll smooth out when we get down to 
It'll be better when we get down to a smooth surface. see but there's uh, we're getting down to a smoother surface now and uh, we're we've got a little bit of tear out on this because it's uh, the different grain patterns but we'll smooth that out as we get closer to a flat surface so now we've uh, we've cut it a little bit more with this uh, chisel and we're gonna get down to the finishing level. out on, on the inside just a little bit more. Try a little sanding. We still got a little bit of uh, edge here that we need to take down, so I'll do that next. Now we'll put some finish on it. I just used this butcher block uh, finish for the first coat. So well, there's the final bowl, and uh, not too bad, looking pretty good. Thanks for watching.